This tutorial will teach you how to use Applied Systems Engineering's ASE 2000 version 2 test set to run DNP3 level 1 or level 2 outstation certification procedures. The first step is to launch the test set from the start menu or shortcut key. If you have both version 1 and version 2 test sets installed, make sure you select version 2. The ASC 2000 runs in two modes, Exchange and Task. The current mode is shown at the top. The certification procedures must be run in Task Mode. You can switch to Task Mode via the Mode pull-down option, as shown. When in Task Mode, make sure the Tasks view is shown. If not, this can be enabled via the View pull-down list. The next step is to define the device you want to test. Right click on the left edge of the device list as shown and select Configure RTUs. Enter any name you want to use to identify the device to be tested and select the protocol from the protocol pull down list. In this case, there are two options DNP3 Serial and DNP3 LAN WAN for serial and network devices. In this case, we will be using DNP3 LAN WAN. Enter the ID or destination address of your device. Instructions for entering the source address will be provided later. Select Next to configure all the input points for your device. While this is not entirely necessary, it helps to document the capabilities and input points for the device you are going to test. When finished, select the Finish Target. Other global settings are entered from the Properties pull-down list and the DNP3 LAN WAN option. The default settings shown will work in most cases but you may want to change some settings such as a source address. Select OK when finished. This completes the initial device definition phase. This device can be used for master simulation, R2 simulation, line monitoring, or to run the certification procedures. The next video provides further instructions on loading and running the certification procedures.